Hello grade schoolers. Today, we are going on an exciting adventure to explore the amazing variety of animals that share our planet. Get ready to learn about different kinds of animals and discover some fascinating facts along the way. First things first, let's understand what animals are. Animals are living beings that can move on their own. They breathe, eat, grow, and reproduce. We humans are also animals. Can you believe it? From insects to mammals, animals come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Animals are divided into groups based on their characteristics. Scientists call this classification. Today, we will learn about five main groups of animals. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Let's begin with mammals. Mammals are animals that give birth to live young and nourish them with milk. They have hair or fur to keep them warm. Can you think of some mammals? Dogs, cats, and horses are examples of mammals. But did you know that dolphins, whales, and even bats are also mammals? Flying high into the sky, we have birds. Birds have feathers, beaks, and lay hard-shelled eggs. Can you think of some birds? Sparrows, eagles, and chickens are all birds. Did you know that ostriches are the biggest birds and penguins cannot fly? Slithering or crawling, reptiles come in next. Reptiles have scaly skin and lay eggs. Snakes, turtles, and lizards are examples of reptiles. Hmm, can you think of a reptile that can change its skin color to blend with its surroundings? It's the chameleon. Now get ready to hop into another group called amphibians. Amphibians are animals that live both on land and in water. They begin their lives in water as tadpoles and then grow into frogs or toads. Can you think of an amphibian? Yes, frogs, toads, and salamanders are examples of amphibians. Lastly, let's dive into the world beneath the waves. Fish have scales and breathe through gills. They swim using their fins. Can you think of any fish? Goldfish, sharks, and clownfish are just a few examples. Great job, grade schoolers. Now, you have learned about five different groups of animals, mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Remember, animals are all around us, and each group has its own special characteristics. Thank you for joining me on this exciting animal adventure. Now it's your turn to explore further. Keep observing the animals around you and always remember the incredible diversity of our animal friends. Bye for now and see you next time.